Hey, welcome back to the channel. So I'm always looking for affordable machines to run Linux on, and the one I'm gonna go over today runs Linux fantastically. I have Manjaro with the Mate desktop running on there, and it may surprise you a little bit because this is a mid-2012 13-inch non-retina MacBook Pro, and everything works really well, including one thing I really wasn't expected that's super awesome that I'll talk about later in the video. There's a couple of things that are really nice about these machines. Number one, they're older, so they're much more more affordable. In fact, I got this one off of Craigslist for 150 bucks. I think it only had eight gigs of RAM in there and a super small uh, hard drive. But the other nice thing about these is that they're super upgradable. You just take the back off and I threw 16 gigs of RAM in there and a one terabyte SSD. And this thing was flying with Mac OS, but I didn't want Mac OS on there. So I made my Manjaro installer, installed it on there and everything worked out of the box. So the performance of this machine is great. Browsing around the web, navigating the operating system, even using multiple virtual desktops works great. Switching between all that stuff works fantastically. With the extra RAM and the faster hard drive, I see very little slowdowns. So just day-to-day -day performance is fantastic. You can do some light gaming in here. You can load Steam and, and load some uh, lighter weight games. And you can even do video editing with this machine and Kden Live or Olive Video Editor, whatever you want to use, works pretty well for lower resolution files, or you could technically edit 4K files if you make some pretty small proxy files for all those 4K media. Performance-wise, I'm super happy with the machine. As far as the hardware, like I said, everything was recognized out of the box and worked. The only thing I had to do was update some of the drivers for the Wi-Fi card because I did have some dropouts with the Wi-Fi, but after updating that uh, card, it worked fine. And like I said, I'm using Manjaro, so everything was available in either the default repositories or the AUR, uh, so I didn't have to go and manually compile anything. Everything else works, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the camera even works. Now the camera on these machines are not great, but for you know basic video conferencing and stuff like that, they work fine. If you're doing streaming, uh, you probably don't want to use this camera, but otherwise for just general use, it works great. So this thing has a ton of ports and they're all recognized by Manjaro, including a mini display port slash Thunderbolt 2 port. Now with that port, you can use a mini display port to full size the display port or a mini display port to HDMI adapter. I'll have a link down in the description to those, but you can use those to hook them up to a monitor and expand your desktop or mirror it, whatever you want to do with the two displays. And the next thing about that port, because it's Thunderbolt 2, this is the thing that I mentioned earlier that was pretty awesome you can use an eGPU enclosure with that port. So I have a Thunderbolt 3 eGPU enclosure with a Radeon RX 560 card in it, and using that, a Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 adapter and the Thunderbolt 2 cable hooked up to that DisplayPort connection, I was able to use that eGPU and it works great. It's recognized out of the box. Now, it doesn't do hot swapping, so you can't plug it in and unplug it while the machine is on, but if you shut it down, plug it in, turn it back on, for me, it got recognized by default. I didn't have to do any configuration. Now, sometimes the applications won't use that eGPU by default, and there is a command you can run. I'll put that command down in the description. You just need to prepend that to the application name. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on this, but if you want me to do a full video on how I got this going let me know i'm happy to put that together but just to show you some of the performance increase here is the results from unigen heaven the one on the left is the one using the internal gpu and the one on the right is using the eGPU. you can see the significant improvement in performance uh, this carries across the board to video editing 3d work gaming anything that uses that eGPU is significantly increased in performance and works great. I was really surprised that this was so easy to get going and works so well. So all in all, I would say these older MacBook Pros make fantastic Linux machines. Now, if you're gonna go for the 15 inch instead of the 13 inch, just be aware that most of those do have a dedicated GPU. So the installation is a little more complicated with that dedicated GPU. I had to jump through a little bit of hoops on the 15 inch uh, 2011 MacBook Pro I have. But if you go with the 13 inch that just has the integrated GPU, it's a no brainer, zero configuration install, everything works, it performs great. You can do so much more for things that require that eGPU. And I would definitely recommend this type of machine for anybody that is looking for an affordable, reliable, and powerful Linux machine. 
So hopefully you found this useful and informative. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. If you have any recommendation on future videos related to this machine or any other Linux topics, let me know. I'm always happy to hear suggestions and thanks for stopping by.